So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today with some more PES 2016 gameplay. This time around we have uh, the two South American sides, Corinthians, taking on Balmeres. Now, I am playing as the home side, Corinthians. This is set on level support off, so no assists being used by myself. And this is the video that I wanted to put out there. Reason being is I've played with pretty much all the support bars now. You know, I've tried out one, two, three a little bit. Didn't really bother with anything else. I mean, three's the highest you're going to go. But off is absolutely sensational. This is how Pez has to be played this year. I've had so much fun playing this game on manual. You guys are going to see me here. This is no support by me at all. You will see the difference. You will see that I am possessing the game because every single pass I put to a player has to be pinpoint. It has to be accurate because I know if I do something silly, give it away, it's going to be difficult for me to get back on the you know attacking side of things. So if you haven't tried out level support zero or off, should I say, you have to do it because the game is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. The best football game I've played. I mean, I'll put it out, put it out there, right there and then. That this game's phenomenal with the. Uh, Assists off. You can see here an early chance here by Augusto. Great little bit of play. Keep it tipping it round the post. This is, as you can tell, a post commentary. I actually had the girlfriend round uh, at this time. I told her, look, I've got to do a couple of videos. She had some Disney musicals going on in the background. So I sat down. I played a couple of games because I wanted to show you guys how much better the game looks, how much better it plays. There's no longer this ping pongy sort of arcade football. When you put it on manual, you get some really, really good games going. Yesterday or the day before I recorded this, massive battles I was having against the likes of Bayern Munich with Corinthians. And, you know, I was losing, you know, marginally losing, but I was having so much fun with it. And you can tell here when I'm playing on manual that every pass is not absolutely to the player's feet. I can play it like that in front of him using X or triangle. It doesn't matter. You can pass a perfectly good pass using through ball. You can play a great pass using just the standard pass as well. But you have to be wary of keeping the ball like that there. You're going to get split open. But what I also noticed was the AI, they didn't get like crazy, crazy possession on me. They didn't go mental like they normally would when I'm playing on level 1 or 2 support. There was just a chance from distance. But the stats at the end of the game were more realistic. They weren't getting 95% pass completion. They were down there in the 70s and, you know, 80s. So, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried the Depez demo with level support as off. It has to be the way you play this game. I mean, I'm looking forward to it now. I know it's going to be real tough when I go into Master League and I try and play, you know, with no assist at all. But it's going to be so good. So good. I've had so much fun. I've scored a couple of decent goals. But now when you play this way, you have to keep possession. And you guys will see here how much possession I get in this game. I'm not rushing, I'm not attacking in numbers and numbers and numbers, I'm working my way up the field like you do in football. You know, People have commented and they've said, well, it looks like you're not playing, this is a lovely pass through the middle there, and what a save by the keeper, who makes some pretty decent stops as well in this matchup. But some people commented that I'm not playing like my usual self, where I pass it about, I was trying to get from sort of A to B as quick as possible. And when you have level support set on, you can do that. You can play the quick arcadey football. Here was another chance. And this time, look at this one. Comes off the post, across the goal line. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> Whoever was on the line there completely ran, ran off and gave uh, Cristaldo a simple tapping. But I got punished. I got punished for my mistakes. It was a decent initial first shot here. Great pass through the middle. Keeper comes out. Good strike, off the post, and then this actually, you can see the defender stumbling all over the place, keeps it on, that's that's not over the line yet, and then, well, terrible. So I went one goal down, which, uh, you know, it's always going to be difficult, I know it was, doesn't matter who you play against, but I think the biggest difference for me, that what I have seen from, from playing on basically manual, is the AI. They don't play ridiculous football, like ping, 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 like you do normally get when you're playing on support. Maybe it's just sort of a, a placebo effect, I don't know. But to me, uh, it certainly doesn't feel that way. That's a decent ball in there. Nearly a chance, what a save by the keeper there, tipping that one on the post and then headering it away. Uh, very unorthodox, but getting the job done. 
And also, when it comes to crossing, you put it on manual, your crosses have to be accurate. No longer will it just whip it in. You've got to be aiming with the with the you know analog stick, otherwise you're going to get an absolute shocking ball in the mix. I think one of these videos I'm going to put out, possibly the next one, with Bayern Munich against Juventus, a whip in a ball, which is unbelievable. It's the best cross I've ever seen. It was drilled in, whipped in with some fizz, and I was I was pretty impressed with it. And then uh, ended up scoring from it. So it was a fantastic move. But I don't know, playing on manual. It's got me hooked on the game. It really got me hooked yesterday. I kept saying I want to play one more, one more, you know, and the lady, she was getting a little bit annoyed with me, but I was like, I've got, I've got to play one more, babe. It's, it's, uh, it's in the blood at the moment. But uh, this is the most realistic game of football you're going to see right now. Nowadays, when you compare FIFA and Pez, on manual, there is no, there is no competition. I'm going to be saying that right now. I haven't tried FIFA on manual. And the reason for that, another one there, nearly just a fraction offside getting caught see here just a just a nipple offside <laughs> nothing more than that but I think it's because it's not impossibly hard to play with level support off they haven't made it ridiculous where every pass like that yeah that was my own fault didn't get it towards the player they've made it so that it's lenient but it will make you think it will make you play the game and you have to take your chances you have to keep possession I don't know what I was doing there tipped away another great save by the goalie but uh, the battles you get now in the midfield, the way you work the ball forward, quality all across the board. I would have liked to do a live commentary on this, um, but as I said, I had the girlfriend round, so I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't start blabbering one, blabbering all over the place when she was sitting right next to me. Plus, she had the old Disney tunes rolling. But anyway, there's half time, and we'll be back for the second half for some more discussion. So we get the second half underway. I don't think I really made any changes. Maybe a few tactical ones before the start of the second half. And I was a goal down. And you know, you have a look at Palmeiras here. It's just, just working it around the board. Not saying, you know, not rushing it too much. Keeping possession, which is what you like to see. And what I like this year about the AI is the fact that a lot of the skills, sort of the one that normally works, the drag back through. Have a look at this for a move. It was brilliantly worked. He came across here, he cut inside, maybe like an absolute buffoon. And then put it in the back of the net. Got no problems with that. I'm more than happy to get beaten with a goal like that. It was my own fault. I pushed the left back out all over the place. And then Robinho punishes me. And they, they go 2-0 up. And that's what happens when you're playing on this kind of support now. You can see there's a massive hole. I try to come across it. Great bit of play. Cut inside. Missed both challenges. And drills it past the keeper. So 2-0 down, I did actually just quickly uh, quickly go into the formation screen and make a few adjustments, I wanted to play counter-attacking football, also uh, moved a couple of players around, I mean I'm 2-0 down now so I was trying to get back on the scoreboard, and as I was saying, what I do like this year is the AI, they will at least battle you for the ball, they will put you under pressure, they won't just let you skip past them, or if they do let you skip past them, they'll try and come back and win it back for a second time, which... Which is important because you want a challenge, uh, but this is definitely the way this game should be played. I have uh, no qualms about that, but this is a nice little bit here. Have a look at this. Wagner Love wins the challenge, takes his time, skips past one, cuts back, and wallop. Pick it out of the old onion bag. Quality finish. And I remember saying, babe, have a look at this for a finish. Quality. And Wagner Love's hair. But well, the way you hit this one. You'll have another look at the replay. Nothing the goalie can do. A screamer. Wins the possession back. A little bit of a fake it. You can see. Just gets a toe on it. Wins it back. Turns quickly. Pretends he's going to go one way. Skips around the other. Half a yard. And have a look at that into the far corner. Quality. So back in the game. Two goals to one. And I tell you what, last year on PES 2015, you would never have scored a goal like that. Or if I had done, it would have taken me months and months to score. Already bang one in on the demo. This is what I love as well about this game is there's a lot of diversity now scoring goals. And that's what I've seen. You'll score from outside the box. You'll score from inside the box. You'll score headers. You'll score volleys. I've seen some absolute screamers 
from people scoring with the likes of Robin. And you will tell the difference when you get the ball with Robin. Different class. Neymar also quality on the ball. Ribéry will cause you some problems. And the player ID really does come into full effect when Pez is at its best. So there's a little bit of a little bit of a foul there. Got caught. And I do like this camera angle as well. This is the dynamic wide one. I think it suits the game quite nicely. They've done a good job of sort of getting a real broadcasty type camera angle this year. I think wide was always one of my favourites. So now for them to give us sort of a dynamic wide, which is a little bit further out, which means you can see the field more, which means you can see the players run, so you can start springing it about and really get some good build-up play. I haven't seen the AI cross enough for me. Um, you know, you can see here they're not really crossing it. They're more worried about trying to walk the ball in. It was a nice little move here, and then I just smash it out of the bounds. So I brought on uh, Luciano for Jansen. Trying to get something out of this game now with 20 odd minutes to spare. But if they can just sort out the simple things, you know, adding more fouls, which could be a little bit harder to sort of program because you've got to make the AI, AI sorry, play a little better. Look at that for a ball over the top. Though. I mean, that's all manual there. That's getting it spot on. And I tried to cut inside. Probably would have got past him last year in Pez with a little fake because it was all too easy. But this year, the AI able to read it nicely. Playing on Superstar. Yes, I am. 10-minute game. This was, a, look at this. Brilliant. <laughs> Keep it up and down. But the way they chest it, at least it's not, you know, instinctive control. Obviously, the better the player, the better his control is going to be. But I, I've just, I've fallen in love with the demo playing on this now. I really have. Once again, that ball over the top, outside of the boot, inch perfect. Now a chance. Skipping past the challenge. How's the delivery? Looking for the back post. Mendoza trying to get up and now Palmeiras will bring it away but you can see how the game just doesn't look as on rails as it has before now passes will go into space you can really play some fantastic fantastic possession football and I was I was really expecting and wanting to hate playing on manual I don't know why but I did but the first game I did I thought he was offside there but it Gustavo wasn't, and have a look at that for a challenge. Spot on. But I just, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I absolutely loved it. And the reason being is, as I said before, they haven't made it really, really hard to play on manual. They've made it okay. They've made it pretty good. It's going to have a little bit of a learning curve. Don't get me wrong. There will be a big learning curve when you turn off all the support assists. I can't even speak. Support assists. Once you do that, yes, you are going to have to really, really bide your time. But it makes you think. You know, it almost makes Pez like a game of chess. And that is what I have absolutely loved about it. You can see here now, just taking my time. The ball isn't zipping into players' feet at 100 miles an hour. I'm able to really get the, the pace of the pass spot on. Play it where I want to play it. And the AI, they also play a good game of football. So you can see, we'll see the possession stats at the end of the game. I think I definitely had a little bit more, but I got beat. I mean, you know, we're going to lose two goals to one here. But uh, I've got no problems with that because it was a good game of football. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So they try to work it round. Head it back towards Cassio for the final kick of the game. There it is. Two goals to one. But a really nice goal from Wagner Love. I mean, I, I was quite impressed with that finish. It's good to see that. I think there's been a lot of diversity in the way we scored this year. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've played on manual what you think of it because you have to try it. There's the stats. Four against six. 82 to 89 pass completion. And your man of the match was Cristaldo. But until next time, take care.